So you want to learn how to play Ramlethal. Well, then you've come to the right place because I spent more time playing this girl than anybody else on the roster way back during the early betas. And on top of that, Arxis also gave me early access to learn the character even better. So without any further ado, let's get started. Ramlethal has crazy range on her pokes and her corner combos are absolutely devastating. Once you corner the opponent with Ramlethal, you've pretty much won the round and you think I'm joking, but later on in the video, you'll find out that I'm not. However, from mid screen, things are a bit more interesting because the Ramlethal player has to be a lot more responsible. Let's say you like using projectiles. Well, you're going to want to curb that enthusiasm with Rom because her projectiles are just gone after she throws them and then you got to wait for them to manually come back. And not only that, but let's say the opponent knocks you away further towards the other corner. In that situation, the swords are going to take even longer to come back to you because once again, they have to manually fly over. But her range also suffers heavily without the swords. Look how good her heavy slash is, right? It's absolutely godlike, but now witness it without the sword. Yeah, it's not nearly as good now, is it? And it's the same story with the regular slash. It's pretty much double the range when she has the swords. Once she gets rid of it, it's now half the normal it used to be. And it's not just slash and heavy slash that will get worse. Literally any special move or normal attack that uses your swords will get worse if you toss them away. And I'm not just talking about range. The damage will also decrease and they'll even be worse on block. So the frame data suffers too. So once again, that's why it's usually not a good idea to use your projectiles from mid screen. You really do want to save them for the corner. However, if you do ever toss your swords and desperately need them back, you don't always have to wait for them to return. You can actually walk over them to pick them up manually. Now, of course, that's easier said than done, especially if the opponent's constantly pressuring you because they know you're in a weaker state without your swords. So thankfully, there is one other option to get your swords back, and that's to use her beam super. It does cost a bar, but it pulls her swords back no matter where they are on the screen. And not only that, but this super is just ridiculously good, especially at the casual level, because it's pretty much impossible to punish unless you do an instant faultless defense, and most players simply do not have the skill to pull that off. And then on top of that, it's full screen, and it does a decent amount of damage as well, and if you have two bars, you can actually Roman cancel after it, and it carries the opponent all the way to the corner for you. So yeah, it's a pretty godlike super. Now, the one drawback is it does not have any invincibility, so do not use it as a get-off-me tool. It's mainly just for catching a whiff punish or getting both your swords back. So with that in mind, you want to be a bit more conservative with Rom in the neutral when you're in mid-screen, but once you have the opponent cornered, throw all the projectiles you want, because these swords are not only great on block, but they also explode, and the explosion is used for frame traps and mix-ups, all that amazing stuff. And if the opponent slips up and gets launched by any of these explosions, then they're in for a world of hurt. They're pretty much guaranteed to lose at least half their life bar. So put simply, your goal as Rom is to work the opponent all the way to the corner where your amazing combos and pressure can begin. But of course, most of the time, you're not going to be in the corner, and you always start the round from mid-screen. So let's talk about what to do in that position. Like you already saw, Slash has amazing range, and so does Heavy Slash. So typically, if the opponent's on the ground, you can just do Slash into Heavy Slash to keep them at bay. And if you have at least one bar, you can Roman cancel either one for a full combo follow-up. And the damage you get is honestly pretty decent, so don't be afraid to spin the meter when you have it. Now keep in mind the range is kind of a double-edged sword, because look how long it takes me to jump when I hold up. These moves have a lot of recovery if you miss. So for example, if I'm here in the neutral and I accidentally miss, my opponent can see that and just do a raw super, or they can jump and then air dash at me to get a full combo punish that way. And that's why it's very important to make sure you never miss space of these normals. You never ever want them to whiff. Make sure they're always blocked at the least. However, if the opponent likes to jump in the air and fly like a bird, things get a bit more complicated. Rom does have a forward punch like every other character, but it only really works if you're a bit in front of their jump. If you're underneath them, it's not going to be quite as good. And then to make matters worse, her crouching heavy slash is very slow on startup and doesn't have the best hitbox. It's an okay anti-air, but a lot of the time it's going to trade, which means both you and the opponent are going to get hit. So instead, one of the best strategies with Rom is to meet your opponent in the sky, and there are two different ways of doing so. The safest option is to jump back and do slash. It has amazing Amazing range just like the grounded version, so it's a great extended poke, and the opponent can't hurt you by hitting your sword, so my god is it good. However, if you want to be a bit riskier and get a lot more damage, you can do jumping kick into Agresso, which does a hard knockdown. Look at that. Once you land at this, the opponent is left pretty close, which means you can move in and go for pressure, some more attacks, or even an unblockable throw, all of which is a great idea. So essentially, Rom is actually better off jumping into the air to meet the opponent, as opposed to staying on the ground and trying to anti-air them like other characters 
characters do. And there's actually one more thing I wanted to discuss about the jumping kick. It's a bit more advanced, but it's still worth talking about. This jumping kick has an amazing downward hitbox, and as a result, on block, it can be a near instant overhead. So off of like a close standing kick or a close standing slash, you can just do an instant jumping kick and it's really tough to block. And this makes it terrifying if you have one bar of meter because you can Roman cancel it on hit for a short combo follow up. In fact, this jumping kick can also combo off of Close Slash for some pretty swaggy combos if you use Roman Cancel. But now let's talk meterless combo. So from further away, the most you can pretty much get is Slash into Heavy Slash. Sadly, neither of your projectiles will combo from this distance, and neither will her flippy kick, it's just not going to reach. However, if you land a counter hit instead, then your projectiles will combo, which is very good news. But once again, keep in mind that they are gone for a bit, which means your normals kind of suck. So instead, you could go for Sildo, which does not give up your swords. And from a lot of ranges, it will still connect. The damage will be lower in most cases, but once again, you do want to hold on to your Swords. And speaking of Sildo, this move does not appear to cross up at all anymore, it's just going to miss completely, which is a shame because in the beta it was actually pretty good as a cross up, but just keep in mind it no longer works that way. But now let's say you're lucky enough to land Close Slash, in that situation you can do Crouchy Slash and then Daro, sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of that name. If you ever launch the opponent and land Daro, you can do Forward Kick into a second Daro, and it's honestly a decent damaging combo. Or if you want a combo that's a bit easier, you can do all three of her Rekkas instead, and remember if if you delay them and time it properly, you get a bit more damage. And I'm not sure where to put this next factoid, but she can do standing light punch, standing light punch, and then crouching light punch for a short combo like this. And that might not seem like much, but keep in mind you can always roam and cancel for a better combo. So for example, something like this. And real quick, I also wanted to mention Rom's throw, because this actually leads to a safe jump. You have time to dash forward, jump, and then do heavy slash, and if the opponent wakes up and tries any buttons, they will get hit. However, if they go for anything invincible, like a dragon punch or a wake up super, you'll land in time to block it. So her forward throw is actually really good once you learn the safe jump timing. But now we're finally in the corner where all of the fun begins, because now essentially every touch will lead to her heavy slash projectile that will then juggle the opponent for a lot of damage. So for example, here's a very basic combo near the corner. And as you can see, the opponent's already halfway dead, and that did not cost me any meter. And keep in mind that that was the combo on a grounded opponent using far slash. If you're lucky enough to be close to the opponent and land close slash and then crouching heavy slash, they're in for a lot more damage. Because in that situation, you actually want to use the slash projectile instead, and then the heavy slash projectile afterwards to keep the combo going. So for example, here's a corner combo that does even more damage. And keep in mind, that combo wasn't even optimal. I'm sure there's more damaging combos out there, but even simple combos from Ram do a ton of damage. But it's not just the damage that makes Ram the queen of the corner. It's also the ridiculous amount of blocks done, because the swords and the explosion will ensure the opponent just stays there forever. So for example, if I'm close, I can do something like this. Boop. That was an instant overhead with her jumping kick, and if you did not block that, I just launched you for a full combo. And then once you expect that mix-up, I can just delay a crouching attack instead for an instant low into the explosion, and once again, you're launched for a full combo by those explosions. And not to mention, there are ways to get the swords back during that pressure, so look at that. I used Sildo to pick up the sword, and now I still have both of them. And this time, I'll do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna throw both swords. Once again, I use Sildo, and now I have both of them back, and you're still stuck in the corner. I should also mention this special move is completely safe on block. And even if you're the absolute god of blocking, I can just walk forward and throw you instead. So yeah, this character has corner pressure for days, and also unreactable mix-ups thanks to her explosions. As you can see, this character is very strong, especially in the corner, and back in the earliest beta, she was arguably the best character in the entire game, and I feel like even after all the nerfs, she's still pretty darn good, and in the corner, she's still definitely top 3. The only weakness this character has is a lack of defensive options. Her only real invincible attack is her super, 
and that's about it. Outside of that, your only real options are to yellow Roman cancel, or maybe you can even go for a burst, but outside of that, she don't got nothing in terms of defense. Alright everyone, and that's about it for ROM. Please post any extra tips you have in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, please request which character you want to guide for next. I absolutely adore this game, and I want to see it grow more and more, so make sure to help out by liking and sharing the video to help grow the community. And finally, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because I plan on making a lot more guides. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.